Welcome back to Microfarm Days. Today we are talking about grapes. Okay, now we've had grapes in the past. We haven't really cared about what kind of grapes they are. We've managed to make some pretty decent, if slightly sherryish, wine out of it in the past. But the most important thing for us when we're thinking about grapes is it's not one thing or another thing. It's a kind of a grape that can survive in our climate, in the UK climate, but also kind of does a bit of everything. So we want to have our kids be able to go and like grab some grapes and just shove them in their mouths and like eat them throughout the summer. We'd also want to be able to make some grape juice. We also want to be able to put some in the freezer for, for, for the winter. And also we might want to try and make wine out of it again. Right. So what we need is a kind of a do everything grape. So we've gone for three types of grapes. Right. We've gone for the Lake Mont. We've gone for the Crimson Seedless and we've gone for the Autumn Royal Seedless. Now, Seedless is really important to us because when you put grapes in the freezer, I want to be able to take them out and use them in pies and things like that and not be thinking, oh, there's seeds in it. So that was something that was quite important for us. So our three types of grapes. We're going to go and plant them up against our pergola and we'll see how we go. So the reason we're putting our grapes in this raised bed is because the ground gets quite boggy around here. And we want to make sure that our grapes have got good drainage coming off those roots. So we're going to be growing them up this lovely south facing side of our pergola where they're going to get lots of heat from the sun, and make them grow nice and juicy. Another great thing about having them going over our pergola is because it is going to get hot and sunny in the summer. So we want to make sure we get a bit of shade. We want the grapes to get the sun and us to get a bit of cooling off. Now, grapes are surprisingly heavy fruits. And so you need a nice, strong structure to hold them up and also to kind of give them some space to dangle down so they don't get all cramped up. because That's when the mold starts to set in. 